there, there, there's something I want to I want to talk about first. As the NFL goes into its off season phase, we're probably most of this podcast is going to become college basketball based because that's what we know the most. And yesterday I went to a college basketball game for in beautiful Newark, New Jersey, Seton Hall and Xavier. I I am a Seton Hall fan, so that that game did not sit well with me. The, this podcast is probably going to become the home for the fire Kevin Willard movement from what I from what I believe. So that yeah, that that's something to look forward to. Because the Kevin Willard can never put a full game together against Marquette, against Georgetown, against Creighton. They came out and they got down they got down early and they can never recover. This game they came out guns blazing and he couldn't finish the game. When when is he gonna tell Angel Delgado that he can't play at the perimeter anymore? Because when that happens, you're taking your best player out of his wheelhouse. And it's not going to work. Because Angel Delgado can't shoot a three. Angel Delgado can't handle the ball. But what is he doing on the perimeter? He's got to, He's just got to put himself into the post and try to be as effective as he can there. Kevin Willard, I'm pretty sure, does not know what he's doing in that sense. Also, with Kadeen Carrington. Kadeen Carrington, take, he went 0 for 7 from 3 yesterday. And I'm pretty sure... I, I don't know how many points he had. I think he had like 12, I think. But... Either way, when is he going to grab Kadeem Carrington and tell him that he can't shoot that shot anymore? If you can't do this, Kevin Willard, then you're going to have to find somewhere else to go. Enjoy St. Mary's because a nationally ranked program is not where, where he's going to be able to be. And Seton Hall has gonna have, is going to have to find a new coach because clearly Kevin Willard can't put an efficient game plan together that doesn't put Angel Delgado on the perimeter, that doesn't let Kadeem Carrington take every shot that he wants. And that utilizes Desi Rodriguez and Miles Powell a little bit more. Because Miles Powell is the most effective shooter on the team. And that's that's no doubt right there. And Desi Rodriguez might be your best playmaker on the team. Granted, Angel Delgado has... he He's like the master of the post. And he'll get 20 rebounds a game. And he'll he's your best player. But when it comes to crunch time, you can't have him taking the ball at the, at the top of the key. And doing whatever it is he's going to do. So, and also with Kevin Willard. Outside of the of the uh, class that, that would be seniors right now, and that would include Sonogo, Ishmael Sonogo, Kadeem Carrington, Delgado, uh, Rodriguez, and the the late, not not late, but he left, Isaiah Whitehead. Who who has he gotten as far as recruiting? I'm hearing he's got a good recruiting class this year, but like I don't he he hasn't had good enough he hasn't had enough success recruiting. For me to be able to confidently say that he's going to be able to to maintain the integrity of the program after all these three guys leave, so Kevin Willard has to has to go after this year because he's going to have nobody left. You're going to need a new guy, a recruiting specialist probably, and somebody who can just put together an effective game plan because clearly Willard cannot do that. So also going back to the Xavier game yesterday, every every basket that that uh, Xavier took, J.P. Makura was cutting towards the basket on every play to go and try to get a put back and try to dunk it home again. And it really came through in the beginning, as or not in the beginning, at the end. Because in the beginning, it didn't work. He he was never getting the ball back, and he was never getting the offensive rebound. But he, he came through in the clutch at the end when, when it was a close game and Seton Hall was uh, was winning that. He came through, and he put the ball back in the, in the basket after, after a... Uh, a, a bad shot. So I, I feel like Desi Rodriguez could do that. Why 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 don't we do why don't why doesn't Seton Hall do that? Like Kevin Willard, just have a guy trailing and have a guy like Desi Rodriguez who's very athletic and he could he could get those offensive rebounds. I know you have I know you have Angel who's who's the best uh, offensive rebounder and just in general rebounder in the country. But you need to you need to have a guy who can who can really just like be the playmaker for the team and it's not Carrington. Carrington is this guy who Willard keeps trusting to, to kind of you know put to be in that role, but he can't. And also, Seton Hall fans, I'm I'm done blaming Isaiah Whitehead for this. I'm hearing everybody blame Whitehead. We everybody has players who leave to go to the NBA. Duke does it every year, but they they just got Zion Williamson and Cam Reddish and R.J. Barrett. They have the top three recruits in the nation for next year. They got Marvin Bagley going into this year. It's it, it's really nothing. 
if you want to be a nationally ranked program, then you can't complain when a guy leaves through through the draft because th- that just means that you have really good players. And you can't complain about that because they're going to want to make money and they're going to want to go to the NBA. You have to continue recruiting, which is something that outside of the big class of 2014, Kevin Willard has not shown an ability to do ever, except for with the exception of Miles Powell, who is a four-star recruit, but and he and he has been very good so far. So yeah, Kevin Willard has to go. I th- I, I don't know who you would really want to bring in. Maybe, maybe yeah, I don't know who you would want to bring in, but it, it can't be Willard. You got to have a new guy with a new game plan, somebody who's going to put Angel Delgado in the post and really just put him there. You could have Carrington as your point guard, but I would put Miles Powell because he has shown more of a willingness to pass, and you could put Kadeem Carrington at the shooting guard with Desi at the three and Sinogo at the four. That would probably be your most effective lineup. As Kadeem Carrington, I'm not going to say he's similar to Kobe Bryant in any way, but he he shows he, and he hasn't shown tra- he hasn't shown like the skill of Kobe Bryant, but he he is he doesn't pass. He's he's got the same game as Kobe Bryant. And I feel like he, he would just fit best at the shooting guard, which is where he was when Isaiah Whitehead was with the team. And I, I feel like he's got to go back there again. That's his main position. So, yeah, we we were going to have to fire Kevin Willard. So he's, yeah, new new coach coming in. But 